This is the audio version of the book about brave Sashka and the golden toilet. If you would like to read it together with me, turn the page when you hear this sound. About brave Sashka and the golden toilet. Beyond the lower forest, not far from the upper forest, and next to the long blue lake in the village of Zohor, lived a little girl. Like all the other children, she liked eating sweets, going to kindergarten, and playing on the playground. What she loved most was playing all the ball games with the boys. Do you know what ball games are? They are games in which the ball is thrown, kicked, or bounced with a racket. No, not the rocket that flies into space, but the round one that fits in your hand. If you still don't know, ask your parents to play a sports channel on TV. Our friend, the one with the ball, is called Sashka. And today, she is almost as old as your teacher. But when she was young, just a little older than you, something happened to her. Her eyes became very sick, and she was not able to see the ball anymore. She could no longer hit a ball with a tennis racket or score a goal with a football. Everything was blurred, as if she was looking at the world through a dirty window. Do you know what to do when you become ill? Yes, that's right. You must go to the doctor. Sashka also took her mom's hand, and they went to the doctor. He observed, examined, and tested Sashka's sick eyes for a long time. The doctor discovered that Sashka's eyes are very special. When Sashka is looking straight ahead, she sees everything as if through a dirty window. But when she looks to the right, left, up, or down, she sees everything nicely and clearly. And this is how it will be forever, said the doctor sadly. But Sashka wasn't sad. Okay, maybe a little, because she couldn't play ball games anymore. But she could do plenty of other things. She went to school, after all, and she had a lot of friends, both boys and girls. Maybe you too have someone in your class or surroundings who isn't completely healthy. Surely, you know that despite that, you can still be friends and get up to all sorts of mischief, fun, and help each other. Her friend, the computer, helped her with her homework. It read aloud to her, enlarged images for her, and did other useful things that Sashka's eyes couldn't. She even had a big, fancy magnifying glass that helped her see letters in books. And do you know what Sashka decided to do when she wasn't at school? She decided that she would do what she enjoyed the most. She would ski. Ever since she was little, she went to ski slopes with her mom and grandpa. She put on overalls, a helmet, a scarf, gloves, ski boots, and skis, took ski poles into her hands and swished down the slope. Yippee! I'm faster than the wind! She shouted while skiing. 
She was amazing. She was so clever and skied so fast that she wouldn't even notice the blurry world around her. Snow-covered trees and bushes flickered past as she sped down the slope. Her future was clear. She would be a skier like Petya Volhova. If someone cannot see, sees poorly, is missing a body part or has a body part not working properly and enjoys sports, they can safely engage in sports with their healthy friends. However, if they were to compete against each other, it wouldn't be very fair. Just imagine having your eyes blindfolded and playing ping pong against someone who isn't blindfolded. That's why para-sports exist. Sports in which not completely healthy athletes compete fairly against each other. Do you know what the worldwide competition in which athletes go against each other in different sports is called? Yes, you're right. It's the Olympics. And the competition where not completely healthy athletes can test their strength is called the Paralympics. Sashka didn't give up. She didn't cry that her eyes got sick. Instead, she trained a lot, lifted weights, cycled, ran, swam, jumped rope, and learned how to ski between colorful racing gates. And most of all, she had fun doing it. When Sashka skis, a guide helps her not to fall or get lost on the hill slopes. The guide is a skier who skis in front of Sashka and tells her through a walkie-talkie where to go and what to watch out for. Sometimes he must wave his hands like a bird for her to see him well at that speed. The guide must wear clothes in such a color that Sashka can recognize them on the hill. A bright green jacket is best in fog. When the sun is shining, he needs a black one. In the rain, it's a dark, long cloak. That's why the guide must carry his whole wardrobe. Some think that he wants to open a boutique next to the cabin car. You sure know what to do when you want to win a medal, don't you? Yes, you must try hard, train a lot and concentrate. Sashka Reksova did all of this and won many races, trophies and prizes. But she has one special recipe for a Paralympics gold medal. In 2022, in distant China, she had to be a lot at the start of a super giant slalom. She told her guide, I imagine one big golden toilet at the finish line. And so they ski to it almost as fast as cars drive on the highway. And they were the fastest of all. They received a Paralympics gold medal for it. Sashka is nowhere near done. She has a lot of sports dreams and goals ahead of her. One of them is to train with her younger brother, Mati, whose eyes are the same as Sashka's. Perhaps... Mati too will win trophies and medals when he's older. When Sashka has a bit of free time, 
She visits kids and schools to encourage them and show them that even with poor vision, you can achieve a lot of success. Her motto is, don't give up, talk about it. So, will you cheer for her too? <laughs>